Hi everyone, this is Gleb Barkmodov and today I want to show you this little example with a video HTML5 element. So I have it my index.html file. I have video element with controls true and I'm playing mp4 file. Can we test this video element from Cypress? <laughs> I think yes. So let's see how we can do it. Opening Cypress, visit the index.html and get the video. Video is just OBS recording. I've done it. It's six, six, six seconds long right so it plays great uh, my spec file is very simple now the video element has special properties and you can look at the spec uh, which ones they are so the one thing we might check if a video is paused and haven't finished yet so when i get this video element i can add it right here i can add two assertions should have prop pause true right because by default if you're not playing a video, it's pause, and we haven't finished watching the video, so and it is false. So these two properties are passing at once. Now the common thing is like, how do I actually play the video, right? I cannot click on the uh, controls, so what I have to do is trigger play, right? And it's not an event; it's actually a method call. I cannot use invoke because this is not standard. Um, HTML element or jQuery method. So the invoke will not work by default. So instead, here's what I have to do. Right here, I can grab the video jQuery element, get the first element, which is the actual HTML video element, and invoke method play. Yeah, so the test plays. When we triggered the video, it started playing, we want to finish for the video to you know uh, stop playing. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, the property ended tells us when the video is done. When it turns to true, that's how we know. So we can use Cypress retriability to check. So once it's playing, we'll check right here. Should have property ended true. And I'm specifying a timeout of 10 seconds because my video is 6 seconds. And the default timeout is 4. So I had to retry this property and that assertion until it actually passes. And now it has finished playing video, the property turns true, and our assertion passes. So this is how you interact with a video element from a Cypress test.